Brandon's asking, Long Island CW Club recommends learning on straight key then moving to a paddle. What do you think? You know, I've been, Joe, both of us have been working on Long Island CW, Joe a little bit harder than I have. And um, I know what you mean about that, you know, they, they say that uh, you should start with a straight key. Um, so you can get the feel of the dots and dits and the da's. Uh, but I I don't know. Um, I feel a lot more comfortable using the paddle. Yeah, I, I started with a paddle and that's what I've been doing. And mm -hmm. you've been pretty successful for it. Um, so again, I think your mileage may vary. Uh, it may work for you, it may not. Um, I, you know, definitely try both mm -hmm. and see which one works for you. But um, I, I, they said it's not necessary to start with a with a with a paddle, right? They, yeah. They they recommend the, the straight key, but it's not necessary. I should say. No, no, exactly, exactly. So don't uh, start with the bug, right? Yeah, don't start with the bug <laughs> though. Start with either a, a paddle or a um, straight key. In fact, just pretty much stay away from the bugs. Um, yeah. That, yeah, that's that's like that's like next level next level keying, and uh, you can always. I, I remember talking to a guy. He's, he's an avid CW operator, and yeah, he, he says that. Yeah, you can you can tell on the air, you know, who's using the bug because it's 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 just has that that real uneven uneven it's sound to it. To it. It's yeah, swing. swing. Yeah, yeah. And I've heard it. I've heard it a couple times. Um. I think my last activation for Thura is one like, oh, that's a bug, and you just know it right away, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I mean, paddle is fine because you're still learning, right? Yeah. And you're getting a feel for it. And if you feel more comfortable with that and you find more enjoyment with that, then I, I don't see a problem with it. That's why I kind of, you know, I, I did, a, you know, I was switching back and forth. I started out with the straight key and I, felt you know i felt more comfortable using the um the the paddle so i've i've just continued along with that and i think it's a i i, I get the ben i get the reasons why they want to you know they want you to use one over the other starting out so you mm -hmm. can sort of get that feeling of you know of spacing and and things like that but um yeah i like the i i i, I like the convenience of the uh, of the paddle Use use paper clips if you want, you know. There you go. There you go. Or yeah, uh follow up. Radioity sells a nice paddle. Um, still like it. Um, uh, Joe, I think you you have one of those radioity paddles still. Yeah, I, gave, the, I um, gave away I gave away my review unit to um I do as, one right right here. Yep, yep. Um I have not really had enough oh, this is loose. Uh it almost looks like it's about to fall out. That's why I'm a little a little concerned about it. Um, there we go. That's better. So I haven't had enough time with it to really get into it. The one thing that I did notice is that this base, this rubber base, is not really grippy. Mm -mm. Right? So if I were going, I mean, it's it's got the weight, which is nice. But the um, I would say on this one that... I would probably put some little rubber feet on the bottom or do something else to the bottom in order to increase the grip because it does slide a little bit. I think Dave <laughs> Dave mentioned that when, when we were reviewing the paddle, he felt it was a little slippery. Yeah. yeah. And he put yeah, he put that that rubber um shelf liner underneath it to keep it yep. to keep it from moving. Um yeah. I I gave mine away. Uh they were door prizes at our camp out last fall. So uh, it's um, I, um, you know, it's, it's, I got, I got enough keys and I, I felt it was better to share the love. So, um, you don't use them. Hmm? You need to get on CW there, Michael. I know. I know. Well, now that it's cold, I, I, I've, I've got no reason to, to not do it. So. Right. <laughs> Until it warms up again. Until it warms up again. And then I get busy and stuff like that. Yeah, so on the um for keys, I've been using uh the cheap uh stainless steel one that you see on Amazon, the mm -hmm. little Chinese one that has magnets. And then uh, all I did is I took some um four square box covers uh, from the electrical department, taped them together as electrical tape, and that amazingly has great weight and it has great stick. 
Hmm. Uh, even if it's, it's not the sticky side of the tape, but just the regular outside of the tape. But that has enough grip and weight that it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. Okay. I've been using this little guy. Um, this is the uh, CW Morse panel. Uh, so, uh, and this for for practice, and uh, it it I gotta I gotta mount it on something because it it does it slips around. But uh, I figure get used to this because this is what I'm gonna eventually get out into the field. So, <laughs> right, right. Well, on those little ones like that, I've seen guys hold them with one hand mm -hmm. and operate with the other one. Um, even like with Bagalis, some of those portable Bagali ones, that's how they do it as well. So, you know, again, your mileage may vary on it, but you know, whatever works best for you. Whatever works back. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. John says, use a straight key. Got my novice 45 years ago. So, uh, um, Man. yeah. And you probably still got like <laughs> lead fillings and, oh man, you still have, um, Shredded wheat in the morning, every morning, the big chunky sweat, uh, shredded wheat. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the old street key. I love it. That's yeah. great. <laughs> well, somewhere Never. over here, somewhere on my pile, there's some always up there. It's buried. I have a J38. Um, and I, when I first first started, uh, six, seven years ago, that's what I started learning on. Was that. okay, yeah. That's yeah. Copies enhanced with the straight key for new ops paddles are easier for sending. So, yeah. well, that's interesting. That's, that's interesting. Um, and, and I would know because Don's actually, uh, uh, one of the instructors, one of the instructors uh, on the, uh, oh gosh, we get Long Island. Uh, hi Don. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't been in class in a while. I've been gnawing. <laughs> probably going to get detention, detention there, but, um, no, so he's not, yeah. So I notice I'm left-handed, but mm -hmm. I send with my right hand. Yeah, and I think some of that is because I want to have a pencil on this hand for copying. Uh, but I guess if your penalty is good enough, you don't really need to have a pencil in your hand, right, Don? Yeah, I need to work on my hand copy. Um, but yeah, those are just my thoughts. Yeah, and, and so all of the friends said something, something about that too. He says some of the better uh, operators out there are using their non-dominant hand to send. Okay, I was so, always wondering about that. Yeah. Um, just to, and I I haven't tried sending with my left hand um, and and writing with my because you know you you got to send and then you then you got to pick up the pencil and copy. So it's uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not to that point yet. <laughs> 